do the strategic planning task force. And so what it's going to do is it's this, the nice thing about the WASP report, it's only a six-year report. In the East, 10 years would feel pretty long for a, where we're green and where we're orange. Agenda item number one, executive session. Will and Marguerite Graham, contract renewal, discussion, and vote. Will and Marguerite are asked to leave the room. These Midland board members come in from all over the country for the same reasons I do. They love the school and want to see it thrive, but they also come here just to be here, to reconnect. It's an extraordinary group of people. You could pick any one of them and make a movie about his or her life. My grandfather was a painter and a sculptor, and my stepfather, with whom I grew up, was an architect, and I ended up doing something that turns out to be kind of like a combination of what the two of them did. For about 35 years, people have been asking me how I describe what I do, and the truth is it, it's really hard, and it's become increasingly hard as the projects I've worked on have become more diverse. And although I do work with architects and engineers every day, I'm not an architect or an engineer, and I end up uh, on projects that involve a lot of architecture and engineering, but, but they add up to something that is really sculpture. There may be an impression that Midland values discomfort, but I don't think that's true. I think Midland values an elemental life uh, in which one is in close contact with uh, the weather, the climate, the uh, change of the seasons. For about 15 years, we lived uh, full-time here on the Wilson River in the Tillamook Forest, which is one of the wettest places in the entire United States. It rains about 135 inches a year here, and it's uh, frequently dark and cold and gray in the winter. And what I have found is that the secret to uh, staying happy and sane here is to get out into the weather every day and to embrace it rather than to... Uh, hide it in, indoors and huddle by the stove. Discomfort may be an occasional byproduct of an elemental life, but it certainly isn't an objective in itself.
What I hope people notice about my projects is that they're all different and that the thread that runs through them is that they are all derived from their sites and they all respond to their sites in a way that makes them immovable. You couldn't take them and put them anywhere else. I hope people can see and feel that and I hope that my projects not only spring from their sites but make them better for what they're intended for that they make them more powerful in ways that are conducive to the activities that need to happen there, and that they make these sites more memorable, more habitable, more human. Okay, come on in.